Good morning, everybody. It is currently 7.30 a.m. in the morning on a Monday, and Becca is going to be here any minute because we are finally leaving for San Francisco. It's going to be like a seven, seven and a half hour drive. We may even get to eight, especially with the stops. And then our check-in time is anytime after three, so we'll obviously be there after 3 p.m. I'm so excited, guys, because I'm able to get this opportunity with one of my best friends, Kuiper, my boyfriend, and her boyfriend. And I just think it's so cool that we're kind of fresh out of high school going into college and we were able to make this trip happen on our own, fully pay for it, not have our parents involved. So we're feeling pretty adult right now. Either way, I'll talk to you guys later. No parking, no stopping, all right? I told you to pull over and you sped up. You said on the other side of the road and I thought there was like a car. <laughs> you just over it. I'm sorry, that was turned. Oh, why did I call you dad? That's dad. You called him dad. <laughs> desperate times call for oh, desperate measures. Stand up straight. <laughs> Do we to carry them? I can't. Grace. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't. This is what happened. Oh. Dirt here. Oh, what, what, what do we have now? It's, it's Some vegetables. Uh, Don't know what. I can't tell vegetables by no, sight and unless it's they're it's fully grown. Because you know, I get all my vegetables from the produce aisle. <laughs> so you seem like you're doing good then? I only had three hours of sleep, so <laughs> as good as one can. Oh, he has red. That's he has he cabbage for nuts. Nope. Oh my gosh. Woo! Where is that lettuce? That. No, that's no maybe he just that's picked cabbage. it out of the ground, you know? Yeah, exactly. Hey, what's the, what's, what's like the purple one called? There's purple cabbage. Purple cabbage? Oh, that's purple lettuce. Or purple lettuce, yeah. Um, that is... Those are to scare those away the scarecrows. Oh, are you serious? You mean the crows, not the scarecrows? The scarecrows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, we just walked in to our Airbnb and I am flipping out. This is adorable. This is like our kitchen area. Sorry, my pillow is there, but. This is just so cute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So we I don't know how we pulled off this trip. I, did, I don't but know because this place is the f***ing cutest place I've ever seen in my life. Yes. I, I didn't even see the effort. <laughs> Look at these! <laughs> Why are dogs a human's best entertainment? Phone. <laughs> Oh, 
so we just had the best yeah, vegan bowl right now. Oh my god. The yams. Yeah, it was really good. Everything that they did was perfect. Now we're getting boba, guys. Okay guys, so we just got off the subway and now we're going to get jump bikes right now uh, so that we can bike around the city. The subway was a little bit interesting. We took a bus, a lot of nice people helped us out. Now we're going to get jump bikes so that we can bike to Fisherman's Wharf, bike to the Golden Gate Bridge, bike across the Golden Gate Bridge, and then see where we land from there. We're probably gonna have a picnic in Prosecco Park, I think it's what it's called and then uh, go to Chinatown. I feel so awkward vlogging. Don't. And Kyber keeps looking at me. <laughs> don't feel uncomfortable vlogging because you don't know anyone here. And we're having a great time. We're yeah. having a little bit of trouble with like the bikes, but it's not that bad. Coffee was pretty Hers was so weird. Mine was good. really, really bomb, but like theirs yeah. did not even taste like coffee. It was like a sweet. It was sour. It was like sour. I don't know. It's a green sour. apple coffee. It was so gross. And we out here right now trying to find our jump bikes. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Piper is getting fish and chips right now. It's been really nice and relaxing. We are using these jump bikes over here. This is not sponsored, obviously, but um, they're really cool. I would really recommend if they have them in your city or a city that you're traveling to, you basically just download an app and within the app, you find out where the bike is, you go get it, and it's a super cheap fare. We've had these bikes for like, an hour and a half probably and um, it's only costed us like 470 right now but the really cool thing about these is that it's so cheap pretty much but it's so convenient and you don't have to sign a waiver the policy is that you're over 18 but Becca and Aaron are 17 we were going to rent bikes at a place over here that does like guided bike tours but it would have been like 30 bucks for the whole day which isn't bad like granted that that would have been fine that's what we were planning but they needed a waiver from their parents their parents aren't here and um, these are just as good if, in my opinion even better because they're electric just got done with biking ditched the bikes and uh, put them here all of our bikes died so we had to bike up the streets with the dead bikes and that was not fun but we were gonna do that to begin with it's good that we got electric bikes though ever wants to be in the vlog Stop, bros. how was your bike ride well, my bike died like halfway through and those things are heavy because um, it adds like a lot more weight from the battery and stuff so yeah. hey guys it's not fun to go uphill so, uh, without a battery no or without not fun without no battery, yeah all our bikes died except becca Woo! Well, actually, becca actually had hikers. my bike hers died on the golden gate bridge so, and so now we're gonna figure it out by like catching a bus i think or something and go to chimetown Woo! We 
out here about to order another matcha latte because it was just so damn good. I'm so tired. Oh, yeah. I'm so shocked that you got boba. Yeah. Do they taste like little boogers? Oh uh, yeah. Do you like them? I don't mind them. Never a gun though? Uh, well, not necessarily. Me? It's dinner time! Who's ready for some gracias madre? Just woke up from a nap, a uh, very good nap, and now we're gonna go to Gracias Madre for food, and it's a vegan Mexican food restaurant. They have one in LA, but this one is closer, and the one in LA is usually super busy, so we made reservations for here. Grande enchiladas, bulldogs, and some lampas. Oh. How did you feel about Gracias Madre? Disappointed. How did you feel about Gracias Madre? It's not good. A little chilly. Actually, it was good. <laughs> okay, so we need an honest review of Gracias Madre. What do you think? This is a problem I've had with a lot of vegan restaurants. I feel like vegan restaurants assume that because they're vegan restaurants, they can just give you less food. It means you should be giving more food. Meat is super filling, and when you remove it from the meal, you have to replace it with extra food. We got flauta, yeah, and, we the, and they were filled with like... Sweet, sweet potato and caramelized onion. Yet, I swear there was less than half of a sweet potato worth of filling. That's just In stupid. both, in both combined. And there yeah. were two of them. Yeah. They were like this big. And the enchilada was kind of skimpy with the filling too. I think it was only potato. And then we had this bowl. And it, it was supposed to have mushrooms in the bowl. I didn't even- Was it? Or was yeah, that the braised lentils and mushrooms. Oh. And we didn't even taste the mushroom. Like the mushroom wasn't in there. It was supposed to have pineapple salsa. There were two chunks of pineapple I found in there and they were oh. tiny. It was just kind of like the portion sizes weren't that great. It, the food was kind of cold when it got there, but they made it super fast. So I was confused. I don't know. We went yesterday mm -hmm. and we wanted to get a table. It was a 45 minute wait. Yeah. Today we had a reservation, so we were supposed to have a table right away. Blah, 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 issues. It took like 10 to 15 minutes to get a table. It was not worth the wait. And also the fact that the chips, you paid $3 extra for chips that you know are just gonna be mediocre and you can get at any other Mexican restaurant for free. At least at Chipotle, it's worth it because their, their chips are kind of different. Sure. In my opinion, I like their chips a their lot. Chips. Becca had the same opinion and she's been vegan for like a year and a half so she's like used to that kind of food. It's just disappointing when you pay a lot for something like that. At least for me. Yeah. Mexican food is cheap food. It's beans, rice, and tortillas. They're, yeah. they're literally no money at all to make and get. So it's a feast. When you go to a Mexican restaurant, you go there yeah. in a food coma wanting to die because you ate so much food. I mean, the server was really nice. They tried to accommodate us as well as possible. I liked that it had the vibe of a Mexican rush, but it was still like, it could have been way better. And especially hearing all the good reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's our review. Okay, okay so, so verdict on the uh, vegan mac and cheese? You know, it's never gonna be mac and cheese.